Hello everyone, the title of this video is God vs. Satan. But before we start off, uh, let us pray first. Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your message for all of us. I pray that the viewers will understand your message in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. This is what Holy Spirit says. Whatever God created and allows, Satan will deceive the people in idolizing the creation of God and will be enslaved to sin. For example, God allowed the Bible and wanted it to be spread and read by all throughout the world. Why? So that God's people and unbelievers will know the truth, which is Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, and hoping they will accept Him as their Lord and Savior. But Satan deceived the people of God by teaching a lie that the Bible is the Word of God, that one must study, memorize, and obey everything that is written in the Bible to keep their salvation. Just like how the Pharisees commanded all Jews to study and obey the Torah. The truth is, Jesus Christ is the Word of God. God only expects people to develop and maintain a relationship with Him and that they obey Him so that their life will be at peace. Jesus Christ came into the world and died so that anyone who accepts and believes in Him will have an opportunity to have a direct personal relationship with God. Let us remember that in the beginning, Adam and Eve did not have a Bible or Torah to do God's will. They had a direct personal relationship with God even after they have sinned. Same as Jesus Christ, when he fasted in the desert for 40 days, he did not bring the Torah with him. He survived his fasting and overcome all the temptations of Satan because he had a direct intimate relationship with Heavenly Father God and the Holy Spirit and he obeyed his Father in heaven. Satan wants the people to idolize the Bible book and are unaware that they are doing it due to their ignorance and stubbornness to develop a direct personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So that is the end of this message. If you have any questions or anything to say, please just go directly to Jesus Christ, talk to him, ask him. He's uh, willing to listen to you. He's excited to hear from you. You just got to go to him. He loves you very much. This is the end of the message. May Heavenly Father God, Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus Christ give you the love, peace, wisdom, and understanding of Jesus Christ in your mind and heart every day of your life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.